for the next section, we go to architecture and cities. So let me open up my uh, mods folders and let's see what I did download so I can have a nice one by one comparison. So the first choice is either Imperial roads or this high res uh, other road texture. It seems I've gone for Imperial Imperial roads. So you want to open it up. Let's also open up Arena Redone HD. Also down, open up Imperial City Retextured Cathedral HD. Let's do that for now. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So everything is looking good here. Imperial Roads, first you want to download the Imperial Roads. Only the main file is needed for Arena Redone. Also, I think the main, yeah, the Nexus Mod Manager, main, um, Nexus Mod Manager installer, which we can use as well for Rybash. So let's see, is that everything so far? Yes, we have the Imperial City retextured. For that mod you want to download, let's see which one, the modular version, so download only this one. Um, okay, and then we have Cathedral HD, which is just a single file. Okay, nice. That means we can now start adding mod. Let's maybe check if I can do it like this. All right, that's perhaps a bit better. Um, Imperial Roads first, track and drop into your installers. Installer section, not the plugins. Installer section, right click on it. Click, uh, let's see, this is just a regular install. So right click, click install. And then the Arena Redone had a wizard, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so you can also see it here and distinguish it by its icon. So let's see what Bevelex says about the Arena Redone. Uh, use the wizard feature, right click and select wizard. Okay, he has no special instructions for it. So let's right click, click wizard. Uh, auto wizard, I think. Let's see what it does. All right, so let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Or maybe manual wizards, let's see. Yeah, I think, let's finish this installer. You have some um, optional things here, but I think the um, these two are fine because this is the core, the 2K textures, and we have the unofficial Oblivion patch, patch. <laughs> so the optional one. So I think this is all good um, for now. So let's just leave it like that. Then let's see, the Imperial City retexture we did download as well. Does it also comes with a wizard? No, it's just a regular installer. Let's see. Uh, we do have some sub packages, so let's see what's being installed. A sub package should appear. Yes, check the packages you want. Okay, um, probably the Imperial City retexture has uh, examples on how all the packs look. So let's see. We want a base, of course. We want a cobblestone. Um, we want the floor. We want one from option three we want option four this option five and then one of the many options and as i said you can see probably examples here in the screenshots but i'm fine with the basic stuff and a high rest lot bridge sure that all sounds good maybe we should uninstall and reinstall this because officially what we needed to do was uh, was uh, check the boxes first before you're going to install it so let's maybe do that right now all right and now it should be all good Alrighty, let's see, it doesn't give any ESP, so that's okay. And let's see, the last one we had was Cathedral HD. So let's track and drop it into our uh, mods section, our installers tab. Right click, click install, and that's all good so far. So we can close every mod again, and let's see. All right, so now we need to pick either one of these two mods, the Alit Replacer, and I did pick the Gecko's Alit Runes Textures, which is this one. Select an, ah, crap, that's not good. I did by accident open up the main uh, tab. Uh, but this is the one we want to open. Let's see, so click on Files and Download. What does Pevelex say here? Um, Okay, install the no parallax version. You may encounter transverse walls. Okay, we we'll use the other one. Okay, so that's the one we want now. Let's just install it. Then, um, so the Alit runes. Right click and click install. Okay, meanwhile, let's go back to the page. So, okay, we have that. And then we have Gecko's Fort Interiors Textures. Is, are we still on track? Yes, with my downloaded stuff. So let's open up these next couple of mods. 
uh, for rocks, I do have rocks with texture. Rocks with textures. Uh, round, uh, runes, runes, that's a nice name. In cave for texture. Let, oh, let's open up everything till there. So download the non -par no parallax because else you have some transcalent issues. Um, the Gecko's Fort Interiors only has one file, it seems. The Imperial Dungeon Textures also has one file, so that's easy. Uh, um, <laughs> that might, might be a bit, bit too late by mentioning this, but uh, of course you want to download everything manually, not with the manager directly. Uh, maybe should have said it in the first part, but I'm uh, pretty, pretty sure you guys are smart enough to figure it out. Rocks Retexture is just a 2K version because yeah, why not? Um, runes, runes, runes. That's a great, uh, great ex exercise for me as a non-English speaker to uh, to say this. Uh, these two words, runes, runes. All right, let's see which version I did download for from runes, runes. And hopefully that's the last time I have to uh, say that. Okay, so we need to download this file completely, runes, runes, and uh, the skirting from completely runes runes version 0 that 3 skirting um but let me check is that true yes so we don't need the um this for uh, really almost everything visible while distant when distant we don't need that uh file all right so that's runes runes and caves retextures the 2k version let's er install everything up to um, the caves retexture. So let's see, let's see, let's see. This fort interior textures are next. Click on install. All right, then we have the dungeon textures. Install that as well, of course, and do it for the other mods we did download. You probably should get the hang by now uh, how Rybash works again, especially the first uh, two parts were a bit maybe difficult because you had to do the preparation, you had to download a lot of stuff of programs and you had to do a lot of uh, preparation for the foundation. And that's always, that's for, for me, for every game which I do mod is the most annoying thing, but it has to be done in order to maintain stability. So yeah, it's a good thing we did pass that already. Okay, our favorite mod, completely ruined runes. I'm going to say it really for the last time after we installed this last file for completely ruined runes, ruined runes. Number 10, and we have caves retexture as the last file we did download so far. Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. Caves retexture, awesome. Oh, that's from South Park, you know, awesome. Oh, 5,000. It's quite a long time ago that they did air that. But uh, that's something completely off topic. Okay, next mod is Farm Fence. Farm Fence, Retexture, Bruma Retexture, Shade and Hall Retexture, Anvil Retexture. What does it say? Do not download Anvil Street Lamp. Okay, we will not download that. So Farm Fence, just a single file. Great, download it. Files from Bruma Retexture. Download the 2K version. Shade and Hall, click files. There's a single version. These are really cool retextures, by the way. Um, I, um, I normally just blindly download all of the mods, but uh, I'm playing, uh, I've been playing Oblivion uh, last year where, where I also did use these city overhauls and especially for shit and all, they really look very cool, very nice mods. This one has, so this is also from a Russian site. You want to download only uh, Anvil. Let's see, what was the instruction for Anvil? Do not download Anvil Street Lamp. Okay, I don't see Anvil Street Lamp, could be me, but that's okay. So let's install everything until Anvil. Okay, so we will continue with Farm Fence. Bruma. Install Bruma. Retexture, Shading Hall, Retexture. And we have that Anvil one with no street light or whatever that mod was we could not install okay so that was everything up to anvil great let's return uh so let's close all this stuff again and the next mods are lewin improved coral improved bravel improved skin grad and let's open kvetch hd and let's open up betty sewers so um for now um so download the 2k version of uh, leowin 
from Coral downloads also. I think, what do we have? Um, Coral, Coral, we need to download for Coral. I only have the improved Coral. I don't have the updates. Mm, okay, well, I don't know why, why but uh, just, let's see. Um, why didn't I download the update? Probably because the update was, download, was uploaded earlier than the final version. That's what I find really weird about this mod. Um, you have two files here, as you can see. Improved Coral and you have Coral Update. The thing is, Coral Update was uploaded later because it was uploaded the same day, but um, it was, sorry, it was uploaded earlier than the actual uh, mod. So that's a bit weird if this is an update file. I'm not sure about Coral 2011. Let me check if I did download that one. No, I didn't. Okay, then you're fine with just the regular improved Coral. Uh, improved Bravil. We have improved Bravil and improved Bravil update. I think this applies the same, right? Yeah. So what does Bevelex say about this? Nothing at all. Okay, in that case, just download improved uh, Bravil. We have improved skin grad, also from the Russian side. Make sure you have auto translate or you know this is this green button. To download improved skin grad, let's see, where do we need to download? Some extra stuff. And Kovac HD, which is this one. Go to files, download Kovac HD and download the update file because this, as you can see, has a proper structure regarding updates. It has been uploaded 9th of November, 2014. And the update has been uploaded a week later, 15th of November, 2014. Great, so download those two files. Betty service also had two fi uh, files which you need to download. Let me double check. Betty service needs, oh, it doesn't need any update. It only needs to install the wet version update one, which is this one. All right, let's maybe open up the last couple of mods. Um, Statues HD, the Catus Cloud Ruler Temper Replacer, Way Shrines. High-res architecture, Diederik shrines, high-res architecture, god statues, basements, HD ships, and tombstones. So we can download everything from this part and then start the installation. Statues HD only has one part. Uh, this also has one part for Cloud Ruler Temple. This also road shrines, high-res architecture, also one file. So that is all pretty nice. The architecture god statue also has one file. Great. Uh, this mod appears to be offline, I think. Let's uh, refresh it. No, it's uh, not offline. Okay, that's good. Download this basement's mod. Download the replay of ships. I think this is just a literal translation. But download that mod anyway. And this one... Um, download it here, I think. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. You can skip it if you want, but uh, yeah. I think it looks nice here from the screenshots. All right, so any special instructions? I don't think so, right? That means we can just have our two windows open and start drag and dropping. What you can do now is, if you are sure you did download everything correctly, you can uh, select all the mods which you need to drag and drop, but make sure you select the top one first and then click shift uh, to the bottom one and drag and drop it from number 16 as well because else you might get some weird numbering. Um, okay, normally I would say you could, oops, normally you could, I could say you could just select all mods and install them at the same time, but for some reason it starts at the last mod first with installing. I don't think, and I don't think that's really uh, something good. So I suggest we just start installing these mods one by one. So the Shaden Hall, sorry, the Leo Win uh, version. We have to improve Curl. Awesome. Then we have to improve Bravo. Skin grad, let's see if we find something interesting on the way. Kvatch with its update. And here you can also see why numbering is so important because um, uh, here you can see file, file versions, but then again, you have to really be careful the, the order you install things because of course the patch need to be installed after the original version. All right, etc., etc. But let me just, um, these are all relatively small mods, I think, except for the statues mods, which we're installing right now. Takes a little while, but it's finished. Okay, Cloud Ruler Temple. And these are all very cool um, retextures, which 
if you add them all in the game, it just makes a really, really uh, big difference. So it's a good thing we're going to install everything now because we want to lift our oblivion to 2020. Great, so now we have the last one, the tomb stones retexture and i think that was it so far from architecture and cities so let's check rybash if we do have any plugins no okay that's great then i would say let's just continue with oblivion worlds yeah because there are only a couple of mods so let's install them for this part oblivion realm hd landscape with a k oblivion trees and the caves retextured Oblivion Realm HD, just a single file. This one goes comes from the Russian sites again. Download Retextured Landscape Oblivion. Uh, download Oblivion Trees. I think these are trees for the Oblivion Realms. And the last one, Caves, also Retextured. Download the 2K version. So we're going to do that as well. So I, as you can see, did create different categories. So we can just select all these four mods and drag and drop them underneath our last installed mods. All right, let's install Realm first. Let's see, that's also quite a large one. I think we need to wait for it, so let's wait for it. All right, next one is the landscape with a K. These are all a lot smaller, so they should go pretty fast regarding installing. Great, and the caves retexture is the last one so far. Let's check, probably no extra plugins. What we can do is we can, um, yeah, rebuild the uh, bash patch again if you want. Click the build patch. And just to be sure, um, yeah, we do that now. And then after the confirmation window completed, we click OK. And then I would say, let's jump into the game. Um, I don't think these mods we just installed have any effects on the Framework of Oblivion show you should not get any crash. It should only have replaced textures. So we have an extra pop-up, click close, click OK. What you want to do now, click on here, start the game, and then I'll see you guys at the next part. All right, time for the next section, weather and immersion. So I would say let's jump right into it with All Natural, a very cool mod which changes uh, the weather. So, uh, extra info from Bevelex here is that you can use his EMB to reduce uh, night luminance. Um, you can do that. In that case, you need to download, uh, you need to use his all natural at any, which we can find in his uh, any pack, which we did download earlier. But I'm not going to use it because I like the vanilla night brightness because I, uh, I think it's a good combination of being dark-ish, but I think it's important that you're able to see everything quite well. And for me, especially in previous EMBs, this was sometimes really hard to see. So that's why I prefer the vanilla night brightness. But if you prefer a more darker night, you also would like to download this any file. First, let's go to all, uh, weather all natural, download the main file. Then let's add it into our uh, I, want, I wanted to say mod organizer, Rybash, of course. Weather, all natural, drag and drop it into your installers tab. And then you want to right click on it, click on wizard, click manual wizard because we would like to uh, pick the options. All natural, full, yes. Uh, do you want to use shivering all support? Yes. Do you want to use additional non vanilla weather? Sure, yes. Do you want to use the bash filter patch for other mod support? Let's see, pick this option if you wish to add indoor weather to any of the mod support in a filter okay sure so i'll leave this on default all these choices uh and here again you can also pick the nights if you want um but again i'm going for the default ones but that's up to you and also time scale i'll leave on default okay you want to check this box apply these sections these selections and then let's wait a little bit until all natural finishes installing all right once it finishes you can check its ESPs because it will add a couple of ESPs and an ESM. So click on natural based at ESM. Uh, let's see why grass overall has been disabled. Enable it. I'm not sure if bash patch did activate it, but we want grass overall and we want all of these other plugins enabled because boss will first of all sort them out. So click on boss. All right. And then let's see. Um, and now we want to run, let's see, 
maybe check this box as well because if the best patch also um, takes these plugins it will it will fix it anyway so okay uh, then let's right click on best patch click on rebuild patch okay yeah okay so these had to be unchecked for best patch that's great that's all right and then click build patch okay I was a little bit stubborn maybe um, it's all good like this the best patch notes knows what it is doing so we are good so far so let's wait a little bit until this patching finishes then we know all as well and three two one yes here it is great and want to activate the best patch of course all right great so we're good so far now let's go to the next mod which is atmospheres for hell this mod is currently uh, offline so you can either skip it it's not mandatory but i do like the looks uh another way to get it is by joining my discord go to the category hidden files um, and there you can request this mod but when this tutorial is released i will make sure to post it directly so you guys uh, can download it from there uh, but unfortunately yeah sometimes it happens that mod authors will set their mod offline um, yeah and then in that case um, you can't use it anymore or you need to get it from another source like an example my discord channel so you can download it again either from my discord channel or skip it but if you did download it from my discord channel let's close this best patch you will have two files which are these ones atmospheres for hell and night sky and to add them is first drag and drop atmospheres for hell uh, right click click and install and do the same for night sky and click uninstall as well great then the next couple of mods that's downpour that's falling stars that's falling leaves quicks realistic aura emotion aurora emotion high quality snowflakes and let's just uh leave it like this so far downpour so we need the uh just a single file but it comes with some options so after we did download downpour make sure to drag and drop it here and now we have to select an option because there are two plugins so either large or small i'm going for the small ones and then i click on install right click click install and now we have installed only the smaller ones let's see what do we have more falling stars that's just a simple single file so you can just download that and for falling leaves download manually falling leaves version one underscore zero bane and install it with rybash okay that will be this one then so maybe let's do install those two mods now that would be number five falling stars which is a single mod okay awesome and falling leaves is a bane installer and that comes with a wizard i think or well, now it comes with options so you want to select the core files and i think select the ul patch for lush woodlands uh i think let's do it like that and click on install all right that was it for the falling leaves let's see we have the quicks rock just a single file realistic aurora emotion is i think a single file yes so you can download this one and the high quality snowflakes quite cool also download that file let's see is there anything here which we need to know no all right and then we can install those mods so let me source the mods uh, like this all right so we are now at number seven the rock rock your ship and we can also add the other two while we're here all right and then we can install them so number seven first install the aurora emotion and the high quality snowflakes all right let's do the new plugins the ESPs later at the end of this uh, part so smoke and dust it's being currently pulled out of nexus in that case install the next one if not follow the instructions just below install the file smoke and dust and update patch for missing textures if you decide you will use an EMB, download and install this file that makes the fog less bright. Okay, let's see. Do I have the smoke and dust? Yeah, I do have. So in that case, you want to um, 
main file smoke and dust update patch for missing textures and then this will be the last radioactive waterfall so i will also make sure to add them in a package on the hidden file section on my discord great so we want these three files then starting with smoke and dust then we have the patch and then we want that mod which we need if we are using an emb okay that's great let's close all of these mods for now and then a couple of other new couple of mods improve moons immersive interiors which is a really really cool mod because it allows you to uh, watch outside from a window that's really an awesome mod uh, the imperial city add-on the brothel and leowin add-on the landscape add-on let's see these mods requires that you install natural first yeah okay what well, we will use bots anyway so that's okay Lights of Oblivion, also a really cool mod where we have some options to pick a specific lantern. Animated Windows Lighting System, um, which allows us to use a wizard. Let's see, the must look nice. Okay, let's just um, leave that for now uh, before we first want to install all the other mods. So, let's see, what do we have more now? Um, so everything until the um, regarding the immersive interior so let's drag and drop them all into our Rybash as well and install them one by one click on improve moons first immersive interiors which is a great mod again and the add-ons for the cities which are needed so let's see let's wait for it All right, not really sure what went wrong there, but computers seem to have a hiccup. Okay, next mod is uh, the additional immersive interior expansion and also the last one, the immersive interiors landscape. Pretty cool mods. So, okay, that was it for all the immersive interior stuff. Um, okay, so no, that's not true. We also have Lights of Oblivion, Lanterns of Oblivion. Uh, didn't I install it? Probably not. So that would be number this one. Yeah, number 18. Awesome. So this comes with a wizard. So um, doesn't it come with a wizard? Oh, I thought this was the lanterns which allowed us to pick a... Um... Oh, no, never mind. Um, let's see. I didn't go... Um... I didn't go with you guys to the mod itself. What you need to do is go to files and you can download a version which you like. So sorry, I did miss that. Um, let's see, did I actually show you how to download this mod? Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Just download the improved moons, download improved interior, uh, immersive interiors, the main file, immersive interiors, imperial city, just this one, immersive interiors, the Bravo um, main mod, Immersive Interiors Landscape, which is here, okay. And Lights of Oblivion again, that's where we were. Download a mesh which you like. I like this fantasy mesh, even while I have a realistic setting. Uh, I think this is the best looking, so this is what I download. Uh, sorry that I missed these download steps, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to figure it out right now after all the mods, all the downloading of all the mods. So, great. That means we can now go to this uh, relatively complicated mod, Animated Window Lightning System. Use the wizard to pick up if you want. Okay, important. Change the install order of ships. Move it below. Animate when the lightning system for that. Uninstall ships. Track and drop it below LS. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's download the animated window lightning system then. And then what you can do is track and drop it here want to use a wizard so wizard installer manual wizard okay choose the plugin you want to install advanced smoking chimneys medium smoking chimneys basic smoking chimneys is okay for me do you use uh, really almost everything viewable when this no we don't use that click next do you want to pick your windows individually for every city and location not needed you can do that if you want but for me i just prefer basic stuff do you use cost texture pack 3 yes we do Pick a complete texture pack option. Um, so again, it's up to you what you prefer. I think I will go for the 
recommends okay then next next um again this is a matter of taste so pick what you like blue green yellow dull yellow i go for bright yellow that's what i like do you use barmer's texture pack for shivering isles yes we do that pick a shivering isles the recommended is okay for me all right apply these selections and then click on finish and that will probably add some plugins again but we will check this at the end okay and now we need to do the step which Bethelex told us so the mod looks nice with all natural important change the install orders from ships mm, ships from Catala 74 ALS okay so we should have a mod Catala 74 ALS um, am I able to find it maybe let's search in here to what is it called again ships okay let's see ships this one okay and this is in architecture cities okay okay then we need to uninstall that mod um it is number 29 so that's easier to search for us that's this one we need to uninstall this mod ships from cattle 74 and we need to drag and drop it under let me double check that under the animated window lightning system and then we need to reinstall it and let's wait for that okay then you can let's see drag and drop this mod underneath the animated window lightning system and install it again it's just a regular installer yes great all right and then we had one more mod and that's smoking candles you can download that mod as well just um, from the russian website again and let's see that's this one um no <laughs> that's not this one that's this one fire fire candle flame drag and drop it underneath let's click install all right great and then now it is time to enable all of these plugins so just enable them all it's okay to also enable again the ones which have been deactivated by rybash if you were unsure which ones were enabled by rybash if you're not sure anymore because we will just run boss again and rebuild the batches so uh, the best patch will now disable the plugins anyway which it can merge so run bus first that's what we did now that means all the plugins have been sorted out which is good and now right click on best patch and rebuild patch with the c patch beta so it will uh let's see falling leaves okay i think falling leaves might cause some issues because we don't have that patch file for that specific mod so in that case we didn't have to install the um uh, the, the lush wood patch because we don't have that mod i wasn't really sure if it was a specific mod but it seems so so that means we can deactivate this one after it finishes so deactivate and that should be fine so far so what you want to do now is launch the game um test out everything works fine still and then we can continue with the next section so do that right now and then i'll see you guys uh, in a bit